Alderaan certainly is the prettiest world on our itinerary. Don't let all that breathtaking scenery fool you, though. This is the most dangerous planet of the core worlds. The nobles here could teach the Sith a few things about backstabbing and assassination. You should hide in my bunk, where it's safe. Tempting, but I'll take my chances with the nobles. I'm reckless that way. Every so often, the noble families spill their bloodlines fighting for the throne. The current succession war is the bloodiest on record. Since the Empire arrived to put its own puppet in charge, there's no telling who will come out on top. Sounds like a good place to turn a profit. There's nothing like a little political chaos to line a spacer's pockets. The first time I visited, I thought all the nobles were so glamorous. Then I saw the truth. These people don't know how lucky they are, or what they should do with their fortunes. They don't deserve to rule. I'll show these nobles a few new tricks. Just take care of our business first before you go cheating someone out of their crown jewels. Your first delivery is a piece of glaze cake. All you have to do is escort that antique power droid to House Organa's castle. Since House Organa runs this spaceport and their castle is right around the corner, dropping off the droid should be a quick run. The droid's my first delivery. What's the second? One deal at a time, Captain. Let's focus on dumping that bucket of bolts. The droid belongs to a couple of young nobles, Len Teron and his sister Sidonia. Decent people, all things considered. Got it. I'd better get moving. Master, I have reprogrammed your vessel's food processor to reduce the crew's caloric intake. I got something. On it. I was just wondering how I might serve you better, Master. I'll start this task immediately.
Just what you asked for. You made a deal with a woman named Risha for this droid. I'm here to collect. Welcome home, you ugly little thing. I mean the droid, of course. This is no time for your juvenile jokes. We should properly introduce ourselves. I am Lady Sidonia Terran, Herald of the Gold Aurora. And I'm her brother, Lord Len Terran, Warden of the Eternal Flame. Please call me Len. What should I call your beautiful sister? Seti, she loves that. Please don't listen to my brother. He has the unfortunate quality of being an idiot. <laughs> what did he say? My friend thinks your sister is cute. We may have finally found your perfect match, Sidonia. My brother and I are all that remains of House Turan's noble bloodline. One of Alderaan's more reprehensible pedigrees, House Bailis, slaughtered our family and seized all our holdings. If that happened to me, I'd be raising an army. Hard to raise much of anything when you haven't two credits to rub together. This droid holds new hope for us, literally. Centuries ago, our ancestors hid something inside it for safekeeping. Pirates absconded with the unfashionable machine generations ago. Tracking it down has consumed our family since before we were born. What that droid contains will rebuild House Turan. But we need instructions to safely open the hidden compartment. It's rigged to explode, you see. The instructions are at our family's estate, now occupied by House Bayliss's forces. Without those instructions, we can't pay you. Clean up this mess yourself. I'm done. Unless we recover what's inside the droid, it's of no use to us. The instructions we need are in a data pad of Tehran family history at our estate's library. If you retrieve that data pad, we'll add a substantial bonus to your payment. And there are some additional family heirlooms we'll pay you handsomely to recover while you're there. What kind of security does your estate have? Hard to say. I'm sure Bayliss installed new systems after we fled. Len, 
It's time for your meeting with House Organa. Don't keep their counselors waiting this time. You just want this handsome stranger to yourself. Next time, dear sister, you get to beg our hosts for their table scraps. What are you waiting for? An invitation? I'll try not to come back too soon, dear sister. I couldn't face another dreary meeting with House Organa's counselors. Thank you for sparing me. I've been looking forward to a private chat since I got here. I'll try not to disappoint you. When I was a girl, I dreamed of adventuring among the stars. What's it like, living that life? Come to my ship and see. <laughs> that would generate no end of gossip. This is already quite a breach of etiquette, you know. An off-world man calling on a lady in private. People will talk. Face it, you can't resist me. I'm often drawn to things I'm not supposed to have. Regardless, I've kept you from your business long enough. Please, take care of yourself out there. Welcome. Please select an available travel route.
rumors are filling the hollow frequencies of a daring robbery at our old estate. You've set a lot of tongues wagging. House Bayless is missing a data pad from their new library. I let my dear sister have the honors. Never could decipher that blasted thing. It's a simple code, woven through the genealogical entries. You just have to assemble the letters correctly, Len. You're obviously the brains of this family, Sidonia. She's also very talented on the viol flute. Oh, and a gardener, and a poet, and... Len, do shut up. According to this, we must pry open the droid's ventral servomotor housing and disable its lateral conduits. The hollow chip is hidden within a false power storage unit behind a detonite charge, entering the disarm code. I've got it! After all these centuries, we finally have our proof. The information on this holochip chip proves House Turan is owed a considerable number of credits. When the other families hear of this, we will reclaim our status among the nobility. Don't forget who put you back on top. I think you'll find us extremely generous to our friends. Then take this data and have it authenticated by the Royal Council. I'll see to our benefactor's payment. I'm sure you will, dear sister. <laughs> I suppose you'll be leaving soon. You don't seem like a man who stays in one place for long. I always have time for a gorgeous lady. There's a charming crudeness to your romantic gestures I can't help admiring. One advantage to being an honored guest at House Organa is access to their finest food and drink. I can arrange a special meal for the two of us. We'll eat and talk about your adventures. What happens when I run out of stories? Why don't we start a conversation and see where things lead? Follow me to the parlor. We'll pour ourselves a drink while we wait for the food. Aren't you glad you decided to stay? Why don't you leave all this behind, Sidonia? That's more tempting than you know, but my place is here. I owe it to my family's legacy. I promised myself a long time ago I would live my life without any regrets. Thank you for letting me keep that promise. Any other promises I can help you keep? Thank you, but no. This datapad contains your payment for delivering the droid. It's the schematic for a powerful anti-radiation shield invented by House Turan. The shield will protect your starship from lethal cosmic rays. You should give the datapad to your business partner, Risha.
She's more than just my business partner, you know. Was it absolutely necessary to tell me that? I also have your reward for recovering our family's heirlooms. I'm especially grateful for those. You risked your life for House Tehran, and we'll never forget that. Farewell. You got House Tehran schematic. Perfect. That wasn't too bad, was it? That Sidonia was really something. Is she your type, Captain? Interesting. She always seemed a little cold-hearted to me. Your next delivery is to take that head in the jar to a sniveling little stuffed shirt named Pima Ahaf. Pima is at House Alda's estate. You'll have to sneak through some tough battle zones to get there. What else do you know? They're Alderaan's original rulers. They've lost most of their political power, but none of their snootiness. Can't wait to ditch that creepy head. I swear its eyes follow me around the cargo hold. 
This is one delivery I recommend keeping covered. Let's not upset the locals any more than we need to. Good luck, Captain. Welcome back, Master. If you detect the aroma of Alderanian nectar, I... Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay.
Guided tours of House Alder's Royal Museum are closed until further notice. I have nothing against off-world visitors, but please leave, or I'll be forced to call security. Do you want this head in a jar or not? I most certainly do not. Get that disgusting thing out of my sight. I mean, really, what sort of buffoon brings a counterfeit head and expects payment? House Alder has already obtained the head of Darth Bandon, thank you very much. It was genetically authenticated by one of my conservators yesterday. Not only are you an idiot, your people are incompetent. How dare you! Cadrath? Cadrath, come here! Yes, noble curator. How may I serve your impeccable rectitude? Where is Neva? I want her to run the genetic authenticator on this head and prove it's a fake. I haven't seen Neva since she authenticated the other head yesterday, noble curator. I sent a message to her holo, but she never replied. I smell a womp rat. This estate is vermin-free, I assure you. Cadrath. Perform a genetic authentication on this head at once. Compare the results to the head we received yesterday. I beg your patience, noble curator. This process will take some time. I'm afraid we have a slight problem. This head is a 100% genetic match for the Sith Lord Darth Bandon. I retested the head Neva verified yesterday. And it does not appear anywhere in the Genetic Authenticator's database. Somebody owes me an apology. And someone owes me an explanation. Captain Skavik, this is Noble Curator Pima Ahoff speaking. I demand that you return the Arcanian hyperdrive at once. The head you bought it with is a counterfeit. Uh, sorry, Pimi. I have a strict no-refunds policy. Hey, uh, Captain. You're a little late to the party. I'm coming to get you, Skavik. Just give me a few minutes to clean up. I wasn't expecting company. Hope you don't mind, Pimi, but Navis taking an early retirement. She's too gorgeous for life in a museum. What? You... You... Menace! You corrupted that girl! When that hard, trust me. <laughs> whoa, 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 easy there, Scruffy. I see your taste in friends hasn't improved, Captain. I think you should get to know Bodar better. Ah, uh, no thanks. I wouldn't want to catch any fleas. <laughs> Wish I had a hollow of your face right now, Captain. That expression is just priceless. Have fun eating my vapor trails. This is un- Thinkable. Skavik has committed a grievous affront to House Alder. I was promised payment for this head, Your Worship. The hyperdrive was to be your payment. It's an extraordinary apparatus, custom built by one of Arcania's most brilliant engineers. Skavik received the Arcanian hyperdrive at the spaceport yesterday. If he's still there, he must not have finished installing it. Skavik cannot leave Alderan without a functioning hyperdrive. Hurry, catch him before he escapes!
You didn't waste any time, did you, Captain? Bet you ran quicker than a Veractal on hot sand. Not that it mattered. <laughs> yeah, sorry I can't be there in person, but my sweet little Neva is very sensitive to violence. Don't worry, though. My friends here will show you a good time. What's wrong? Afraid to face me yourself? No, uh, it's just... This way, I can watch you get slaughtered from every conceivable angle. Isn't technology wonderful? Captain, say hello to Sergeant Detonian and his men. They were working freelance for the houses, but now they work for me. <laughs> the sergeant has graciously accepted my contract, on very short notice, I might add, to vaporize you. You should have stayed in bed. Hit it, men! Either the luckiest shot in the galaxy, or those were some seriously unlucky mercenaries. <sighs> I guess I'll erase this hollow recording. Anybody who works for you dies. Got it? That's pretty hard on employee morale, you know that? Look, I hate to cut things short, but I got a swanky new hyperdrive to install. Love that Arcanian tech. You take good care of the rest of my stuff, Captain. I'll be coming for it soon. Just found out what's happening. Sorry I'm late. The good news is, I tracked Skavik's ship to House Thule's spaceport. He must have gone there to finish installing that hyperdrive. There's still time to get him. I'll fly us to that other spaceport in no time. Throttle down, Captain. It's not that simple. The Empire controls House Thule. Skavik has landing clearance from the Imperials. But you'll have to sneak in on foot. Luckily, someone here owes me a big favor. I've arranged a meeting to sneak you inside that spaceport and get the hyperdrive. What if I don't make it back, Gorgeous? Will you miss me? Don't be ridiculous. You always survive. My contact is at these coordinates. Oh, and there may be a way we can profit from this whole debacle. House Alda still wants the head. That pompous gasbag Pima Ehuf will probably pay anything to get it. I'll see what he has to say. He was willing to give up a custom-built Arcanian hyperdrive for that head. I suspect he'll say a lot. Good luck, Captain. I'll be waiting.
clear successor that I can see, Senator. The eldest Ald leader, Duke Organa, maybe. Hello again, Captain. I understand Skavik has escaped. I was, uh, truly sorry to hear that. I still have your head. Got anything useful to trade for it? We got off on the wrong foot, didn't we? I apologize if I was rude before. You must understand. The head of Darth Bandon is a priceless artifact. He was the Sith Lord who murdered one of Alderaan's noblest sons. Centuries ago, Trask Ulgo bravely sacrificed himself in combat with Darth Bandon. Trask's martyrdom saved the Galactic Republic. What keeps the head fresh looking after all these years? When Darth Bandon ultimately fell in battle, Sith acolytes preserved and enshrined his head. Despicable people. Alderaan's current king is of the Ulgo family bloodline, and he reveres his ancestor Trask. The remains of Trask's murderer will be the perfect peace offering to our king. House Alda must have your head, uh, so to speak. I'll trade this head for a new Arcanian hyperdrive. But I only had the one, and the Arcanian engineer who crafted it is long dead. Any payment in credits I give you for the head now will have to come from my own funds. I'm not a wealthy man. Please, I beg you, for the love of peace and posterity, please accept my offer of what little I possess. I'll take that and your nicest museum piece. That would violate every tenant of the noble curator's code. If anyone found out, the shame of it. If I don't get that head, the shame will be worse. Here, take this. It's from the late Bergen period. Very valuable. I don't know how I'll sleep at night, but at least the Baron has his head. Goodbye.
think I can pull this off. Easy. I promise nothing less than perfection, Master. Anchi do ti puna puna, kabuk nuni slemo. Chunky Faguta, Chiho Poda Gi Otto Vokise. What's wrong? You're too good to speak basic? Patoga wata kiko uba kiri wata buki donko. Se kota do muti kihasa da punyo. Lise di woto. Kupa tonti toki maki chisa chubolo wawuni. If I needed luck, I'd already be dead. Kaba no tase makipuna. Mali tuta odmishka. Kichawa Joto do the Bita Tuta Ulia Nucha.
perfection delivered on schedule. It was my pleasure to serve. Hey folks, uh, sorry about how long this is taking me, uh, I have a, a few important messages that I keep getting and I have to reply to them and I keep forgetting to press the pause button on the recording. I'm hoping that the delays are not too bad, um, they, they're not, I don't think they are, like it's like a few, like it's like a minute at most, but it's just the it, it's just that Alderaan is, like, Alderaan and Tatooine are, like, one of the worst planets to do, like, big quest lines in because of the sheer travel distance. Yeah, you pretty much have to do. Simple. And as such... And that's such like it's taken me so long to get there, like, and unfortunately it's not, it's never terribly clear if I should use that fast travel, like for example, like right here, it's giving me an indication for fast travel, but I didn't get the indicator back here, so I, like, it's just a situation of like, oh my god, should I use fast travel or not? And there was that moment up here about how do I access the area up here. And remember, I tried. I tried to take a shortcut here, and you know, I tried to go through here, but like, it, it just wouldn't. It's like, nope, that place is closed. Like right here, there's supposed to be a space, but like, it's not. Like I have to go completely around. Well, I bit my lip the other day, and it is still coming. And it's one of those situations. That's, it's just at the top of my lips, so like... Welcome. I, I Please select an available travel room. I off it when I talk.
bit way more north. Okay, uh, in future, for story missions, I'm gonna play it safe and do them in segments. Just because, like, of oh, just how far, like, I am going. I might do the same with some of the other quests. <sighs> no, because, see, the problem with that is because, um, not all quests have you going back to X location. Some of them, like they do, some of the quests have been retrofitted, especially exploration quests, where in some cases you don't have to go back to the quest giver to turn them in. It will just auto turn in, which means you have no point to go back there. So, it might be best for me to still do all of them, like try and break them up as best I can, like into sectors. It's gonna be difficult because there's no clear sign of sectors. <laughs> So like this quest had us going back and forth to the ship, it had us going back and forth to the base hangar. So like if this like this planet's quest line or like sorry, um smuggler quest line was not having us go in a the usual uh, order of things.
Where's Skavik? I'd like to chat. Nakag agib kik benabab. Neya agam berakaki. Bumo gala apayang. Nilama imi amka angap. Naya na rankam. Kala ama mani mami. Libig bak. You got suckered by one of the galaxy's great con artists. Manub Maraka Naja. Kinamabam. Yak Manala. Bragam Nemya. Inubuyin. Kamamka. Amkananya. Beraka Karam Kara. Ninyamak. Oramag. Yang Migik. You're not going anywhere until you junk Skavik's starship for me. Nibaga Klamka, Gakyam, Glagnimu Amya Galak. You know, violence is usually my last resort. Usually. Mem Amgap Kugap, Kramanik, Umka Kiga Mayamak. Nule lak apa jam kamgram, amka nem nang nemua inuk. Kala jiwa nimok, e pemgam nyama naya aigam. Thanks for the help. You can go. Nani kara mirek agam ja uklebek. Yamemgi benak akalak.
Thank the stars. We're in desperate need, and you're the only one we can turn to. Everything was fine when I left. I'm afraid events have quickly turned against us in your absence. Duke Bayliss was offended by your visit to our former home. He's demanding satisfaction. The Duke is sending his son, Zinn Bayliss, Alderaan's finest marksman, to challenge me to a pistol duel to the death. Isn't House Organa protecting you? The Organas think we deliberately sabotaged their peacemaking efforts by attacking House Bayliss. They're refusing to intervene. My brother never mastered the art of the blaster. He can't possibly face Zinn. Unless we find a champion to take Lin's place, he's as good as dead. Please, will you be our champion? Just how good is Zinn? He's fought 25 duels to the death. In each one, he fired a single shot. Maybe he just got lucky. You could break his winning streak. You're about to see a real live hero in action. I knew we could count on you. Please, come to House Organa at once. Zin will arrive any moment, and you must be here to meet him. Just in time. We were, uh, <laughs> about to start without you. Pathetic. This vile-looking off-worlder was the best champion you could find. <coughs> Silence your vile pet or I'll have it sent to the zoo. Bodar's my friend. The only thing that belongs in a zoo here is you. Yes. I imagine someone like you has difficulty finding friends of your own species. You must be the vermin who invaded my family's home and stole our property. You've saved me the trouble of hunting down and executing you. I didn't save you anything, pal. You saved my brother's life. Not only that, you did it with style. Where did you learn to fight like that? It's all in the reflexes. Drat, I was hoping you could give me some pointers. There are no words to express our gratitude. This reward will have to suffice. 
You could kiss my wounds and make them better. I would happily oblige if our circumstances permitted. My brother and I must flee House Organa. It's only a matter of time before House Bayless makes another move against us. Why don't you come with me? It's probably safer. For us, but not for you. I'm sorry, but it's better if we go. Captain, we will always remember you as our champion. Farewell. I've never been so happy to see a starship hard in all my life, but I'm even happier to see you in one piece. How about a kiss for coming back alive? I'm excited to see you, but not that excited. I have to hand it to you, Captain. You not only took care of business, but you made Skavik look like a fool. I worked his ship over pretty good. He'll probably just steal a new one, but at least he's a few steps behind us. I'm glad we're done here. It's funny, I can't help thinking Nock Drayen would have hated this world as much as I do. Legend is, Nock was descended from royal blood. They say that's how he got to be king of the galactic underworld before he died. How did this guy wind up worm food? Every spacer, pirate, and gangster from Abrogado Ray to Yavin has a theory. Some say he was shot in the back by a Rodian. Anyone who actually knew Nock will tell you that's ridiculous. Others say he was killed by his most trusted lieutenant. A few say he died in his sleep. What do you think happened to him? I think the galaxy is full of people with too much time on their hands. I try to ignore them. It won't take long to wire the Arcanian hyperdrive to the ship's engines and the anti-radiation shield will be a snap to build. Is there some way I can pitch in? Like hold my hydro spanner? No, Captain. But thanks for offering. I'll have those upgrades online in... Wait. Hang on. Oh, this ought to be good. Hello, Skavik. How's Trix? Just fantasizing about killing you and your friends, sweetheart. Want to hear the details? Did you like those special modifications I made to your ship? You mean Senator Talta from Alzog 3 Starship? I'll make sure your name comes up when he files his insurance claim. Haven't you learned yet, Skavik? Cheaters never win. We're leaving Alderaan with all the prizes, and you're... well... stuck being you. Have fun while it lasts, kids. The end of the ride's coming soon. He's just mad because we're leaving Alderaan first. Let's hit the hyperlanes. Hi, and finally, we are done with that. We're done with the Alderaan uh, smuggler story. Next, we need to move on to Tatooine. Actually, no. Next is the 
planetary quests. Now, as I said, I'm going to try and do these a lot more segmented than this. Like, okay, so clear. So, yeah, I'm just have to try. That is just wow. It's just. Sign out. One name, one sky.